I'm not the only one fucking somebody I ain't supposed to, ma. How about the fact that you fucking some dude named Dante? Ooh. I'm sorry, let me clarify real quick. I mean, Zeke's dad. What's up, ugly ass niggas? This your boy, Jay Miles, and I'm back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, and let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your ugly ass friends. On today's video, we will be covering Diana's nosiness will lead to her downfall. And now, to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure if nosiness is even a damn word, but guess what? I made it up, ugly ass nigga. It's my word, so you gonna, you gonna accept it, ugly ass niggas. But basically what I'm saying is, you know how Diana has always been very, very nosy, right? Like she's been nosy since season one. All the family secrets and stuff that she ain't supposed to be, as, you know what I'm saying, saying and it's and, and um, you know what I'm saying, putting it out there, she just, she is that girl. She's that girl at the barbecue or at the family reunion that whenever things getting all good, folks getting together, to, you know, to have a celebration, and soon somebody get on her nerves, she's that, I know you ain't talking, you over there doing that. She that girl. Like, she definitely top tier for all the, you know what I'm saying, the black movies and shows of people that just go to snitching and and just putting folks' business out there. Like, she up there with, um, what's his name on, uh, on Tyler Perry's uh, Why Did I Get Married? I think his name was Mike on that one, right? She up there with him, how that nigga was just right telling everybody bit, and you seen how it turned out for him. It ain't in well for that nigga, and it ain't going in well for her. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So, to start things out, if you can remember, Diana, she, if you can um, pay attention, she always wanted her independence. And in her opinion, mostly Monet was the cause of her always being on lockdown, not being able to do what she wants. But that's kind of like, you know, typical parents things. Your parents be trying to protect you from shit that you know that they they wasn't protected from that they already can see, but you know as a child you can't see it at the time. So that's pretty much what Monet was trying to do when it comes to her and Tariq, because she knew she like like she told him Tariq is own man, but in translation she said that nigga ain't shit. <laughs> he needs to stay away from that nigga. But at the same time, I think Tariq is the type of dude that will take care of his child, will be a good father, because, I mean, Ghost was. You feel me? Even though, and I think Tariq is finding out more and more how that, you know, Ghost wasn't nearly as bad as he thought he was. But he just couldn't see it until it was too late. And Diana would have a similar story, kind of. You know, she already tried to set up Monet, and... Then when she found out the reason why Monet was moving the way she was moving, it was too late. The damage had already been done because, of course, Tasha came through spraying. So, getting me to the next part where she, she spilled the beans at the dinner. So, as y'all know, the Tahalas was together to have dinner, and then it's like... Diana and Monet was just ki constantly kicking each other under the table, you know, talking over stuff, and then, um, and then eventually, you know, um, Diana just did checkmate and told everybody that, you know, what I'm saying that Zeke was Monet's son, and you know, Lorenzo was like, God damn. The Lorenzo like, hold on, what the fuck is she talking about, Bo? Did uh, you know she put the birth certificate out there and shit like that? And a lot of y'all glad niggas might be like, why is this nigga talking about that? Well, it's because it's gonna, it's explaining all the mistakes she made that ultimately tore down the family that will ultimately lead to our death for glass niggas. So stay tuned. But anyways. She slammed the um, 
the birth certificate on the paper proving that Zeke was Monet's mother and that he was born in a different year. Now, how was he dumb enough to not know that, you know what I'm saying, he was born in motherfucking 98 and not 2000? You tell me. But anyways, he figured out that he was born in 1998, making him Monet's oldest son. And then, after that, she she did another nosy thing. And, oh yeah, we all know that that led to Zeke being upset with Monet and going to do, do things on his own. You know, he wanted to walk his own path. And that's what ultimately led to the, the demise of Zeke. Even though, obviously, she didn't want to. That's probably why Monet was so mad at her at the time, because... If she didn't do that, Zeke probably never would have went off on his own. He would have never ended up going towards their plane, and he wouldn't have been shot by Lorenzo, right? Also, Lorenzo, let's go to him. Lorenzo wouldn't have never even gotten out of jail if she didn't steal their money out of um, you know, the, out of the bar that got him out. And if Lorenzo wasn't out, then Lorenzo would have been there to shoot Zeke, and Zeke probably would have been still alive. So, how look, you know, telltale tantrums has come back to really bite this family in the ass. And when they told them not to look into that damn bag of Mecca's, she she's supposed to not did it, but of course she couldn't help her damn self. She looked up in the bag, and since she looked in the bag, she told she told Lorenzo what was in the bag, which ultimately made Lorenzo think that Monet was planning to run with Mecca, and that's the reason why he shot Zeke on accident, of course. But that's why it happened, getting me to the ultimate, um, you know. The ultimate um, downfall of Doné. I mean, of Diana. Ooh, I said Doné. I said combined Diana's name and Monet. That's great as fuck, yeah. But anyways, so the ultimate downfall of, of Diana. In my opinion, if I had to just say, Jamie, go, go ahead and I'll just predict right now for five hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars how you think Diana would be taken out. I would bet towards Effie will sick the Russians on Tariq, right? And after she sicks the Russians on Tariq, the Russians will come because, you know, Tariq was the one that killed one of their people because um, Kang was attempting to get... um, was attempting to get Brayden to do it because they wanted him to be a white boy, but Brayden wasn't a killer, at least at the time. So he couldn't do it. And Tariq had to do it for him. Effie was there when it happened, so she can identify uh, Tariq, probably can even prove it in some kind of way. And once they prove, once she proves it, I'm, and I'm pretty sure Kane will be with her. I think that photo of we seen in the teaser trailer of them standing there with some ugly white dude standing beside them. That's that was after the meeting with the Russian. And obviously we also have a, a exclusive pit of of Diana, I mean of Effie sitting down with one of the Russians leaders. So pretty sure she's sticking the Russians on Tariq. And once Diana get a whip of this, you know, being with him being her baby father and she wanting to protect him, she's gonna attempt to do a dangerous mission, being nosy, and that will ultimately lead to her demise. And of course, after that happens, the Tahadas will go scope earth and they will, you know, shake some trees to try to find out who killed their beloved daughter slash baby mama slash sister. And that's when you would get the team of Tariq, Kane, Drew, Monet, and probably Brayden, maybe even a couple more that will work together to take out the Russians. So, y'all glad niggas let me know what y'all think. And that's all I got for y'all. 
Do you see Diana going out in an attempt to save Tariq? Because that's how I see it. I think she's going to, like I said, I know y'all been seeing my channel and um, know that I pretty much think that Diana will fall this season. But that's what I think will be the downfall of her. She will do too much meddling, and this time she's going to bite the bullet for it. So ultimately, she, I think she's going to die trying to save someone she loves, and it will lead to her demise. Y'all let me know in the comments, Atlanta niggas, what y'all think. Do you see this happening, or do you see another angle? But, you know, like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your ugly ass friends. Um, I'm, a, I'm actually 70 subscribers away from 1,000. I'm trying to reach my goal. So make sure y'all be sharing this so that I can get more subscribers, ugly ass niggas. Do, you, do your boy a favor. But until the next video, I'm out.